Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Opposite Sex Podcast. These are your hosts, Drew and Tanea. Hi, Tanea. Hi, babe. How are you doing? Oh, you know, it's been a crazy one lately. It has been. It's been a long time. Sorry, everybody. We did not mean to be off the air for near as long as what we were planning. We had some crazy shit happen for this past month, a little oh, over yeah. a month, actually. I mean, and I think we kind of brought that up the la- our last podcast and we told them that we were going to be doing it weekly, and we kind of disappeared again. I know. But, yeah, it's, we've been, it's been crazy. We've been pretty flaky. Yeah. <laughs> our, like, our last, even our last two weren't, like, like every week like they were supposed to be. We just had all sorts of shit going yeah. on because we had the whole bathroom fiasco, and we had to do an episode out of your place. Yeah. And had a whole different look and vibe to it when we did that. Yep, and I then think. we skipped like two more weeks. Yep. And got during into, that, we got into that new house. Yep. Then and, did one. And then we did one, and we thought we were ready to go. We had the studio all set up, and shit was rolling. And then. And then all hell broke loose, <laughs> and we're going to talk about that here. That's pretty much what we're going to accomplish um, on this episode. Just what we've kind of been doing yeah. the last month and a half. We're, we're calling this uh, the start of season two. Yep. I think. This uh, is a good this just, is a good time. Yeah. It's a good uh we're in a new home now, another <laughs> Again. one. And we're ready. Uh, I know we said this the last time, but we are ready. You to better get knock these suckers. on some wood, babe. Hey. Nah. <laughs> knock away. We're we're ready. Um so get ready for these things to be coming out weekly again. Uh we got no excuses. So our life is finally starting to calm down. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, but welcome to season two. Yay. Not sure what else, what's all different, really, but our podcast platform that we upload to, Anchor, uh, gives us the option to pick season two. So and we're, we got a new song. And we got a new, with, yeah, so. a new, new That's song. Cool. I don't even, even know why. We just needed a new beginning. Yes. For the show. Whole new <laughs> everything. It's probably going to be exactly the same, <laughs> but except it's going to come out every week. Right. So. Um, I guess our big theme of the day is going to be on the fucking fiascos of moving, moving because that's what our life has consisted of over the past month and a half. So you're going to hear pretty much just about all, <laughs> all the crazy shit we've been dealing with the last month and a half. And most of that revolves around moving. Yes. Yes, it has. <laughs> so, uh, just of things today and I lived in separate apartments and we moved into a house, mm-hmm. just a rental house, mm-hmm. um, and that's when we filmed our last episode. We'd gotten everything all set up. We had looking nice. Oh, too. it was looking great. It was it was going well. And I think we had mentioned that. Did we mention our, in our last episode that we had a flood issue? I don't think so. I don't okay. even think we mentioned the little okay. one. You gonna okay. you want to go address it? But anyways, now? I guess I can because I was home. You were home. So I was folding. No. Tornado siren went off on a Sunday night. And I remember mm-hmm. calling you and being like, babe, like, I don't know what to do. I'm freaking out. And that's when you had told me just to go downstairs and get in the closet. So we did. And the tornado siren stopped. So I sent Landon upstairs to go play. And I started folding clothes. And now, guy, but in, I feel like, like a lot of our listeners might not be in areas where tornadoes exist. Yeah. Tornadoes the are the real fucking deal, people. Like, like it's a nerve-wracking, holy shit experience. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I've never been in one. I feel like I've seen one off in the distance. Um, but when but, those tornado sirens go off, it's Yeah, like, it's it'll freaky. level it'll level a fucking town. Like, your house will be completely gone. Yeah. Um, it's not a good thing. So, you need to be prepared. So, yeah, we got tornado sirens and everything. And you need to be in a place with a basement. And so, luckily, we of, we moved into one we with did. the basement. So anyway, I'll okay. I'll butt so out. Drew's going to work, and I'm sitting there folding clothes, and I went to go put them away. While I had walked into our room where our podcast stuff was, and it was just pouring, like through our through the downstairs, and I'm freaking out. And I call I call you up, and I'm like, you know, I love you. You're like, I love you too. I'm like, 
Um, the basement flooded again, and you didn't believe me. See again. See, I don't even again, think they know about the first. It one. did. It flooded just a little bit. Like we were there not even a week, and it had flooded. Um, the land like a trickle of water. Yeah, like not much, but it. it but trickled all of out. our all of our um, camera equipment and our drone was sitting there that time, so that kind of freaked me out. And we got everything moved out, moved away, and we get the carpet in, and you know, get the setup, and so yeah. I mean, it was past my ankle of water. And During the second time. The second time. And it was just, it was horrible. It was so, bad. let me set the mood here a little bit. <clears throat> so, I'm on, a, I'm on a train trip during the second time, which was the fiasco. So, I'm on a train trip, and we had accomplished all the moving. So, we moved two apartments into one house. We had to get out very quickly because we were lucky enough to get find people to take over our leases in our apartments. But we had to do some fast yep. fucking moving to get out of those places to get the other people in. So we were working our asses off like to get this done really quickly. And, of course, the house is a fucking mess because we got boxes and shit everywhere. But. Oh, yeah. We had gotten everything in there, and you were starting to unbox stuff. Mm-hmm. And I can remember being on the other end of the road, and you had posted like a Snapchat picture or something and said, oh, the house is really coming together. And then you showed basically all the boxes being unboxed. And it was about 45 minutes later, after that picture was posted, about, oh. How the house is becoming a home. Yes, yes. Everything is going wonderfully. Life is coming together. Everything's unboxed. 45 minutes later, I get this phone call. About the basement has flooded. And I think she's full of shit. Because she plays tricks on me all the time. So I think she's full of shit. And uh, then she... Then it turns into a video chat. And she shows me... Oh, yeah. This water in the basement. And I thought, oh, my God. So, I mean, it's just very disheartening. (laughs) Because everything was basically done. Like, the house is now coming together. We're living there. Life's going Everything's unboxed. Everything's put where it needs to be. Laundry's getting done. And then all of a sudden, like, God took a shit on our doorstep. Right. (laughs) Yeah. So. Broke my heart. Yeah. So, I mean, then, then what you got? You got a flooded basement. All your shit down. I don't want to say all your shit down there, but. A couple thousand dollars worth of stuff. Yeah. Shit's getting ruined down there. You know, you got that nasty mold smell going on down there. Our bed's wet. Our (laughs) dressers are wet. I mean, we had to put our bed in our closet. It was, yeah. It was not good. Not good. We had to sleep on the couch for two weeks, or no, three weeks after that. So, we're... Sorry. I'm getting ahead. No, no, no. We're going to get into this insurance business. But... uh, Anyway, the place is starting to smell like mold. We're living upstairs, so we've now moved two floors up to one, so we can all stay upstairs. Anyway, well, then we sort of lucked out because the house right next door was also a rental owned by the same people, and that person was moving out. It was actually a friend of ours, and that person was moving out. At that point, I said, fuck it. I told told them we... We can't live here anymore, mm-hmm. but we will move in there. I'll happily move our shit across the, the yard. <laughs> yes. Instead of loading everything back up and doing everything all over again. So we did. We had to wait for them to get out. Which was a while. Yeah. And then it was. I mean, it was a, it was a pretty easy move. Um, mm-hmm. But we just started moving shit. We got the word one night, and we just moved. Within like two seconds after the word. Yeah. We're like, all right, can we have the key? We're on it. But, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. We're going to address this this insurance thing. Cause Do it. It's just on my mind now. So, I don't know if anybody knows about this, but I found out some shit about insurance. We have renter's insurance, both of us. This is in Nebraska, too, guys. And, um, anyway. Uh, we both have renter's insurance. So, your basement floods. You would assume that insurance would cover that. You would be wrong. So, uh, we found this out the hard way. We filed a claim for all of our shit in the basement. Uh, we went through days. They took the claim and everything, and they dicked us around us and dicked us around. And- yep, and then they called us one day, and they said, we're canceling your claim. Nobody came out. Nobody came out and looked at anything, but they canceled our claim. 
No reason why, no explanation, no nothing. And I was a little pissed. Uh, so I was, again, I was on a train. I was just getting off a train. I told Tanea I would meet her down at the insurance, insurance. place. And I'm gonna, that did not go well. <laughs> no. There, there may have been a few choice words said. Um, yes. Between me and an insurance agent, but... Long story short, we don't need to get into all that because it still pisses me off to this day. I know you're starting to shake over there. Am I? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not happy about it. So uh, water damage is not really a, something you want to have happen because insurance companies do, do not, not cover it. Flat out. like There's no such thing as a flood insurance in Nebraska. No such thing. We went through pages and pages and pages and Drew was making this guy break every single thing down. There's no such what did they say? I don't even remember. I don't want to get into it. I, I don't. <laughs> you know it's going to piss me off. And hell, for all I know, my yeah. our insurance agent listens to this fucking show. Oh, God. Wouldn't that be some shit? That'd be great. Maybe you could call in. I'm sure I got some other... You know, I do have some other things I'd like to address. <laughs> well, because I talked to you. Because Okay, so nobody reads. Nobody reads. This long, big, thick-ass packet of, like, fine print. The policies and yeah. what it nobody covers. Reads and what all it, that shit. Yeah. You probably should. But nobody does, not that I know. Maybe I'm the only one that doesn't. Maybe everybody I else don't. does. Okay, well. Anyway. I don't read anything, though. Oh, baby. So, yeah, I did. I made him, like, go through a whole shit ton of stuff. And we got through, through a good chunk, and then I finally just got pissed and left. But I sat at home and did go through a bunch of that shit. Mm-hmm. I am amazed at the weird crap that they put in there. Mm-hmm. So the one that stuck out in my mind, I feel like we're getting way off topic here, but I don't know. We don't really have we're a topic, so we're just it. going. The one thing that stuck out in my mind that I cannot get around inside of the renter's insurance policy, so I can't say that this is a homeowner's insurance policy. I don't know. But in there, it states that you, in fact, are covered if a self-guided missile hits your house, but that it has to be a self, self-guided, self self-propelled missile. Why the fuck is that in there in a Nebraska know. insurance policy? But then it made me wonder, like, what if that missile is not, what if it's just a, a bomb that they just drop? Like, then not you're that, not covered. Could you imagine that? Right, thing? right. Like, you shot, saw what shit show that turned into over water damage. Yeah. I had a bomb dropped on my house, and I went to collect on that. I don't, I don't even know how. Right. I, I mean, not, why would you have to put that in a policy? Right. And why, I don't know. Why couldn't you just say if, you're, if your house blows up by a bomb and or missile, like you're covered? But yeah, the whole thing where it's got to be only covered with a self-propelled self, yep. missile... I don't know. I don't know, but that's actually in there. I remember re- reading that. It's a whole section on it. Mm-hmm. Anyway. It's all bullshit. <laughs> so, but hopefully your house doesn't flood. Uh, luckily, the cameras, audio equipment, all that stuff was salvaged. So uh, we weren't out a crazy amount of money. Um, it could have been worse, but yep. in the end, I'm still a little pissed at the mm-hmm. insurance people. But it sounds like that's insurance companies everywhere. It's everywhere in not, Nebraska. Yeah. It is so, everywhere. Anyway, but we did get moved into a new house. Um, bigger house, nicer house. Um, so in the end, it worked out better. We yep. have a lot more room here. But I don't know. I am, I'm sick of moving. Me too. I'm I done. Don't, I don't ever want to do it again. Right. Truthfully. What if they just sell this? What if they just tell us like, hey, we're selling this. You got to go. Oh, I don't know. We, at least we got a year or so. We got a year. We got a year lease. Right. I don't know. That would be crazy. But, yeah. It's it one of my us, least what favorite What did it thing. take us? Two, three, three days, I think, total to move over here to the house we're at now. Oh, yeah. Mm. It didn't take any time whatsoever. And, of course, while we're moving, it's like 90 to 100 degrees. And the day we're done moving, it's a nice, cool day. Right. That's bullshit. Yeah. I really do think, like, God shits on our parade. <laughs> yeah. I do. Yeah, he's having a field day with our lives here lately. Yeah. But I don't know. We all need entertainment. He probably does too. Right. He's probably laughing his ass <laughs> yeah, off. He's at having us. a good old time. I don't know. I don't know. But that is one of my worst, like, 
least favorite things to do. I hate moving. I hate it. It's probably why I lived in apartments for so long. Because I yeah. absolutely <clears throat> hate moving. It sucks. It's the reason I own it. It's the reason I own a truck. I had a nice ass car, and I remember I like I traded my car in to get a truck. I don't even know why. Just because I got tired of borrowing people's trucks. Because like, if you don't have a truck, you may only move once every five years, but you need a truck to do it. So then you got to bar- borrow somebody's truck, and that's just no good. So I'm serious. So that's why I own a truck. Oh my god! Yeah. yeah. How long ago did I move? Like I moved like I don't even know. Four, five, five years, years ago. ago? Five. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's been pretty interesting. And, and then uh, here we go. Oh, go ahead. Well, no, you go ahead. Well, so Tanea gets all right. I'm a guy, and like like a true bachelor kind of guy. Like I don't give a shit <laughs> where I live. I don't. Like I'm totally good. If you walked into my apartment. And there's nothing. There, it looks like, like a college and, guy lives there. I remember when you and I met and like I walked into your apartment and it was just bare. Your ch- your couch, your chair, your coffee thing, and your TV. That's bullshit. There's more. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's more. There is pretty There's no empty. decoration. It was pretty, yeah. Like I don't decorate. I mean, I might have a few Husker things. But that's it. Floating around. Right. But that's it. Yeah. I'm not going to put like little flowers and shit like all over the place and some artsy fartsy crap on the wall. That's that's not me. Like I'm a, I'm a dude. I'm at home. I'm not at home all the time because of my job. So I don't give a shit. Like, okay. So, where did I come up in this? I don't even know now. I feel like I'm just ranting and raving. Like I've needed this podcast because I just need to rant and bitch. <laughs> but um, no. Okay. I know where I was going with this. So, Tanea is opposite of me. So, like, her place had decorations up all over the place and smelled nice. And, I mean, not that, I mean, the smelling thing is kind of nice. But, so, she's all about this getting a house thing. Matter of fact, the house thing, you were, you were pushing the house thing Mm -hmm. a little bit more than I was. I don't know if that's still the case after all the shit we've gone through. I never, ever want to move or have another house in my life. I don't even want to buy one because I remember I wanted to buy it. Remember? Right. Oh, I do. Fuck oh, that. I do. Right. We'll get no, on that thank here you. soon. <laughs> but so like we're, I mean, she's all, ex- oh my God. So when we're moving our shit, <laughs> like before we get anything moved into the house, She's like designing the walls, you know, like in her own mind. Like I'm carrying the couch in one hand and the TV in the other hand. And she's over there like imagining where the fuck she's going to hang shit that we don't even have. So (laughs) like that was just that was something else. This is a difference. It was. Well, I mean, I I feel like you might have been getting it. (laughs) ahead of yourself in certain aspects of it i was like let's just let's get moved in let's just get moved in first and then we'll figure it out i don't know (laughs) what what other things might you have gotten ahead of yourself before we finished moving or even started moving do you remember (sighs) okay you want me to fill this one in sure okay so to go along with this about Tanea getting slightly ahead of things before we had even moved into the first house, before we had filled out the application for the lease for the first house, <laughs> Tanea is talking to the neighbor about buying their boat oh. <laughs> because surely we're, we're getting, gonna, house, surely so we're getting this house and the boat's already parked there. So let's buy the boat. <laughs> so... I don't know. Babe, <laughs> stop. <laughs> My cheekbones hurt. Sorry. You're we such d- an ass. We didn't buy the boat. We did not. My but d- it is still sitting in our yard. <laughs> With ripped to shit seats. <laughs> yeah. We're not even sure if it runs. No. It seemed like a good deal, but if it only if it runs. Right. But Anyways. <clears throat> it is still sitting in front of our house. Mm-hmm. On the side, technically. Right. Okay, but anyways, so we finally get into the house, and here I go doing my imagination stuff, and I'm like, I really want a dog. Mm. I want a dog, and Mm. we're not even here a week. 
still unpacking, still organizing stuff. And so me being me, I send pictures to Drew and we end up walking home with the dog in two or three days. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, you've been wanting a dog. Like, I love dogs, too. Like, like I'm one of those bad people where I, I know that if when we went and looked at that dog, I know that we're going to get the damn dog. Because I have a soft spot for dogs, too. But, but, I knew, I knew. I rushed into it too quick. Like, the issues that, that having a dog can cause. Like, they're great. We've got two cats. We love our cats. Cats are so much different than dogs. They're they so are. Much. They just... I mean, they have their litter box. They just do their own thing. You know what I mean? You yeah. give them two two food bowls, and they're good. Like, if you leave anywhere, they're good. Yeah, they're happy as hell. They got rid of your asses <clears throat> right. for, like, four days. They're happy. Right. They deal with, yeah. But then, a dog, oh, my God. And we're, we're the go-go kind of people. Like, we don't like to chill. I mean, we chill at home, but we like to go do things. And I really never understood how serious it was. And how you could not do that until we got a dog. And it, yeah. Well, but it's okay. It's getting better. Now we got a dog. Now we have a dog. <laughs> or almost finished moving in. But yes, we did get a dog right away. Yeah. She's cute, though. Nala. Golden Little Retriever Nala. and Boxer. Yeah. So she is, she's adorable. She yeah. kind of has the, kind of has the face of a Golden Retriever and the body of a Golden Retriever. But Boxer hair. Brindle colored, yep. seven month old. Lots of energy. Yeah. Lots of energy. Yeah. But she's a sweetheart. She is. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. The cats hate her. I don't think Chandler's too bad. He just doesn't. I think Gunther is. Yeah, the cats the cats are not a big fan. No. I wouldn't say. Gunther just does his own thing. Or no, Chandler does Chandler. his own thing. Gunther makes it known that he hates yep. her. Which then psychs her up. Right. Yeah. But Gunther leads it on because he'll go hide behind the couch and then he'll come out and he'll know that she sees him. It's a cat for you. And he'll just jump back in the back and he don't have claws, so he just Mm -hmm. pats at her. That's a cat for you. Little dickhead. But and she's just she's sweet and lovable and loves everybody, loves everything. She doesn't even understand that he hates her. Right. He he just or she just wants to play. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, so anyway, now we have two cats and a do. dog. We do. But um, that's about it, right? I mean, that's that's pretty much what's been going on. Yeah. So it's just taken forever to get everything sort of settled. Um, and then we had a vacation. Work, vacation. Yeah. So we got some more videos out on Drew and Crew, or we're going to be. There's one up, actually uploading right now. Go check it out. So Drew apostrophe in apostrophe crew. Yeah. Subscribe, like our video, go yeah. check them out. Yeah, so we're going to have that done. Um, we'll have another video coming out here in a week or so after that. Yep. And we're going to try to keep on a roll with that. But this, this is a top priority. We're going to keep this going every week. So yes. I don't know. I, we never know. You guys know. We don't know what the hell we're going to talk about and from one week to the next. thank you guys for, like, holding on yeah. and being patient with us. Sticking with us. Yes. We know. It's, it's not good to go. Uh, come and go that? and come and go. AWOL, AWOL for a, a month. Yep. Is that what yep. they call that? That's not good. So we're sorry, but we will we will stick around. Yep. Um, I don't know what we're going to talk about, but you know what I've been wanting to talk about next what? week. I got to tell you. What? Oh, okay. So I, you know, when we started this, <laughs> see now I'm going to go off on this whole other rant. When we started this, like I I had like this urge that I knew we were going to talk about aliens on some episode, and I've really last month was a big time for. UFOs and alien believers because like the government had to release like top secret information that they knew. Um, so I've been, you know what? I honestly, I don't know what they have all come out with. I haven't heard a lot of new stuff that I didn't know about, but I think that that the deadline was in June. So I'm curious what they've all released. And right. I don't know. There's just been a lot of cool UFO stories lately. And yeah. The government has been a little bit more open to that, so I don't know. I've been I've been anxious to talk about aliens. I don't know. We can so do we that. might have to do a little research on that, and it might just be a whole alien episode next right. 
next week. I don't are, know why. Also, are we going to start keep doing podcasts on Mondays, like posting them on Mondays, or... What the hell day is it today? It's That's Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> I think Wednesdays. Should we change it to Wednesday? It's season two. Yep. I feel season like... two, new start, new beginning, new everything, new song, new live. We're going to start doing it on Wednesdays. Except for this one, which is probably going to end up on there on Tuesday. Today. Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> so, who... I'm going to shoot for Wednesday. I'm going to really shoot for Wednesday. We are going to have a new podcast out every week, but we are shooting for Wednesday. I think everybody's starting to really, gonna, especially in this episode, they're going to see and hear the fiasco in our life. Like it it's is. just us. This is, this is us. Now, you guys are really seeing the true us, like in the true way we are. Like, right. We are a mess. We, yeah. This is like yeah. my therapy session, though. Like, I, just let me get on. Let me rant. I'm for good. real. Like, this is... Like, I don't know. I, in my mind, I had like a, a thing that we were, topic that we were and actually going to just ta- go off. Yeah. And then I just, I just kind of lost it. And so that's I apologize. Okay. But uh, I had to get all this shit off my chest here for whatever <laughs> reason. So, and I don't even know. See, I was just talking about aliens two minutes ago. I don't even fucking know why. <laughs> <laughs> but we should do that next week. Okay. Okay. Oh, I yeah. Don't know. I don't know what else. I don't either. So, um, yeah, I guess we will see you guys next, next Wednesday week. Next. If, if we're seeing you guys. <laughs> so if you guys are just listening to us, go over to YouTube and go check us out on there because we do post videos up there. Um, yeah, us, so if you guys want to see yeah. our smiling faces, um, you can go check us out there. And if you're watching us on there, I don't know, maybe you want to listen to us on a car ride or something. So then... Jump on over to Apple Podcasts or Spotify or wherever you listen to your podcasts at. We're on everything. Yeah, go check us out there. When you can't be watching us on YouTube, go check us out there. Yep. And and don't forget to go check out our Instagram page. we got Instagram. we got Twitter. Tic- TikTok. TikTok. We're going to get back on that oh, shit, gosh. too. Yes. Matter of fact, tonight, we're going to be up- uploading some new Instagram posts. What do you call those? Just Instagram posts? Instagram posts. Okay. Some new posts. It's um, probably a new TikTok video on there tonight. A uh, new tweet. Oh, yeah. We do the Twitter thing, too. We don't do Facebook. We don't have a Facebook no. page. That's about it. But go check us out anywhere. Go check us out. Give us a follow. Shoot us some likes. Shoot us some comments, some DMs, whatever. Get a hold of us. Uh, we'd love to hear from you guys. So, otherwise. Um, we'll see everybody yeah. next week. See you guys next week. Bye.